Hey coders and welcome to another video in this video tutorial series on processing and gender debug and today we're going to be building this animation that you're seeing on the screen now honestly this is quite a trippy animation and this is going to be the most challenging thing that we've done so far in this channel so let's just look at this animation for a while and let's just get started now before getting started i have a few things to explain so this animation it has four important things that we need to understand the first thing is going to be the number that is the number of rectangles that we're seeing on the screen the second thing is going to be the theta or the angle of the rotation because we're going to be using the polar coordinate system that's why we need this theta and another thing is the radius so this radius is going to be the radius of our rectangles and the fourth thing is going to be the size of our rectangle so the fourth thing is going to be the size of our rectangle <coughs> excuse me now <coughs> having said that let's just get started so I'm gonna be creating a new sketch so a new sketch, an empty sketch, and we're going to start code right now. So the first thing is obviously going to be the setup and draw functions. So let's just quickly write this setup and draw function. So I have flipped the the brace the other way around, so it's not supposed to be like that. So so as I've already said, the the things that we need to understand those are let's just take a, take a quick look these are numbers and theta and radius and length or you can just say you can use any other variables so i'm going to use those so the first thing is the number which is going to be an integer because uh you know integer because there is no like 0 0.5 rectangles right there's no 2.5 rectangles there are either ones or twos or threes so they're essentially going to be integers that's why we're going to use this int as our data type and the next thing is going to be the angle so let's just set our angle to zero as we always set our angle in the beginning and the next thing so the next thing is going to be the radius so the radius is going to be um 300 i guess if i'm right so it's going to be 300 you can play with this by the way you can play with the values yourself and see the results for yourself i am just dialing the same values from the previous sketch because these values that's seeing right now actually does a great job so that's why i'm i'm using these values so you can play with it you can choose your own values and the last thing is going to be the length so you can use another va other variable names as well so i'm sticking to it because i practiced it earlier that's why i'm just sticking to what i practiced so this is the length so we've 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 set up uh, we've set up our variables so let's just get in the setup function and as usual i'm going to set the window to 800 and 800 and you might be wondering why i always use uh, 800 by 800 as a window size because as the size of our window increases uh, the complexity of our program also increases that might slow our animation down so that's why I use this 800 uh, as a, my size because it is, it is ideal it is neither too large nor too small so that's the reason why I use this 800 and 800 as the size and uh, what are the other things that we need so setup we've done so we need a background as well so I'm gonna set my background to a white background so I'm um, so a background to 55 that's it now in our draw function we need to use polar coordinate system and let's just take a quick look at the example so as you can see in, in our previous videos about polar coordinate system we've used uh, a, a single object uh, that 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 rotated along uh, a circular path but we've got these we've gotten an array of rectangles in this animation so we're going to be using a loop because we cannot just rely on a single rectangle and before that i need to translate my origin to the middle of the screen so uh, width divided by two and height divided by two just the usual stuff uh white width divided by two and we're going to be using a 
uh, a loop because we've got multiple we've got n that is the n number of rectangles the number here of rectangles uh, to to apply our functions to that's why we're using this loop so int i equals zero i is less than the number and i plus plus and uh, so let's just quickly write a float x equals we all know it is the radius the radius x equals so why am I forgetting to write radius of radius times cos of the angle and uh, y is going to be the um, the equal sign in my keyboard is not working properly for some reason I don't know uh, maybe it's just starting to break out so uh, so the radius the y uh, y is going to be the radius times the sine of our angle and then we're going to be drawing our rectangles so let's just draw our rectangle at that so we are inside of a loop so we're essentially going to draw uh, 150 different rectangles so rectangle inside this is going to be x y and the width and height are going to be the length l e n length variable so let's just put in our length and as we have done we need to increase our angle by a certain amount so that it can move because if we don't move it we're not going to uh, we, if we don't increase or decrease this angle we're not going to move a rectangle so let's just see what value I've used so I've used I've actually used theta as a variable not angle and the theta increases by 0 0.01 so I think that's going to work for us as well so let's just quickly rename our variable so that we don't get confused angle theta and then theta and theta so 0 0.01 and I think oh, oh sorry I also need to clear up my background because I don't want a trail behind so that's why I need to clear it and also also I have uh, not set the fill of uh, I've not set the fill and stroke of a square so the fill is going to be same as the background color okay so not not exactly the background color let's just set it 25 as a, a gray shade and uh, the stroke is going to be and the stroke is going to be uh, okay maybe uh, let's just see what stroke I've used in a previous example so I've used the fill as 25 and stroke as, as 255 so we're going to be using the same values in this as well so fill 25 and stroke 255 so let's just give it a run and see what we get okay so weird steps are happening i don't know why oh, okay so and and another thing that we need is we need to uh we need to set our rect mode at center now the rect mode is centered because we want this x and y to be at the center of our uh, of our rectangle, not at the the corner. So we want a, a rectangle to be centered at x and y. So that's why we use this rect mode as. And then if we run it, so we're seeing this um, this rectangle. So maybe our size is a little too much I think that's it's just too much so let's just uh, let's just dial it down to 300 and let's see okay so the 300 looks good and maybe we could just increase the size of our window a little bit so that the, the, the whole animation just fits right inside of our window so 900 and 900 so I think that's going great but one thing that we've noticed is that we we're not seeing an array of uh, rectangles we're just seeing a single rectangle that is because we're using the same x and y to draw all the rectangles and in in our in our original animation as you can see um so in our original animation uh, the the rectangles are a little lagging behind 
uh, lagging behind each other. So what in, in mathematical terms it is called a phase difference. So we need to provide a lag, a slight um, lag between each uh, of our rectangles. So we need to provide, we need to give it a little a phase difference. So for that uh, what we need to do is we need to use uh, an additional variable that is we need to use let's just say an angle variable and that is going to be initially going to be equal to our theta and for each for each rectangle the angle should be maybe a little more or a little less but it should uh, it should be different from each other it should have a little lag so let's just set our angle as plus equals 0 0.05 I guess this might work and if we um, give it a run okay so it's not working uh, let's just see what happened angle equal theta oh float so we, we're not supposed to use okay so we're supposed to use float and then and oh, so we haven't used angle inside of our polar coordinate system. We're still using the old theta. That's why we did not have that effect. So if we run it again, there we have it. There we have all our rectangles with a little phase difference between them. Now, uh, there are quite a, a few things that we need to fix. So the first thing is that uh, in this animation, all our rectangles are of equal sizes. But in our original animation uh, uh, each a uh, following rectangle was a little uh, a little smaller than the previous one so what we need to do is we need to decrease uh, the size of our rectangle uh, uh, inside of a loop so let's just uh, decrease the size of our lens for that we need we again need another variable um, called uh, let's just say s I said e size so this is going to be okay so size is already uh, a function so we cannot use size let's just use L and L is going to be the len and we're going to use L and L and we we're we gradually decreasing the L by some value let's just minus equals um, one let's just decrease it by one inside of a loop so if we run it again you can see that this is what we really wanted so we wanted a, a, a slight gradation in the size of our rectangles and the next thing that we need to fix is in our original animation you can see that the radius the radius of all our rectangles are not the same so this bigger rectangle have a bigger radius and this smaller rectangle have have this smaller rectangles have smaller radiuses so or radii as I, as I always forget the word radii so we are going to we're going to decrease the radius as well and for that also we need to have another variable uh, called let's just call it r for now and that is going to be equal to the radius and we're going to be using okay so we've already used r I guess and we are going to use this r okay so we've already used r so we don't need to declare it because we've, we've already uh, you declared an r and we also need okay i'm really sorry i'm a little messed up this is original animation <laughs> uh, okay so mm, that was my mistake so we need another variable called r and we need to initialize it to radius so that was the original sketch that I was messing with and we need to decrease our R by I don't know let's just decrease it by 0 0.5 and then let's use R instead of radius and if we run it that's what we needed that's what we really wanted so this is how we we've created this animation i hope you've understood it now i'm also going to be posting the code uh, and i'm also going to be posting the source code for this animation so you can uh, you can download the source code you can fine tune the different variables and you can use it uh, uh, as you like so uh, this is it for the video so 
Um, I hope you liked it and keep responding to it. Um, keep engaging, um, keep engaging uh, me uh, in these videos and keep motivating me. So um, yeah, that's it. Um, also, happy coding.